Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. These are some of the MCQs uh, related to muscles and movement. So let's move to the question number one. Most abundant muscles in the body they are skeletal muscles, which account for eighty percent of the total muscles in in your body. So beta is the right option. Which of the following muscle is innervated or stimulated by motor neurons from somatic nervous system? These are voluntary muscles, which include skeletal muscles. The other types of muscles they are involuntary. So beta. Most abundant protein in the body tissues is collagen, but dash is found more abundant in muscles. That is myosin. So right option is delta. As you can see, collagen is abundantly found in different body tissues, while in muscles. thick filaments or myosin protein as major protein in a single muscle fiber uh, there are t tubules formed by sarcolemma yes you can see t tubules they are formed by sarcolemma but sarcolemma is not made up of connective tissue it's a cell membrane sarcoplast stores calcium it's a wrong statement sarcoplast is a cytoplasm while calcium is stored inside sr or sarcoplasmic reticulum So alpha is the right answer over here. One of the following is a contractile protein within the muscles. It is myosin. That is a contractile protein. And when muscle contracts, sarcomere shorten. Yes, it does. And myosin heads. They are big, big on ATP. Actin slide past myosin. The H zone disappears and Z line comes closer. All of these are right statements for the muscle contraction. So last one. Calcium released during muscle contraction binds to the troponin, which helps in displacement of tropomyosin. Then, and the direct source of energy for muscle contraction is ATP, which is obtained from different other substances or molecules. At what point is ATP hydrolyzed? ATP is hydrolyzed just before myosin attaches to the actin, as you can see in the muscle contraction cycle. the before attachment of myosin head to the actin atp is hydrolyzed atp hydrolysis takes place which uh, brings the myosin head in high energy configuration and it is released after the sliding of actin filament over it and new atp arrives and only uh, that is a single atp which is going to be used within the cycle arise when myosin they are in low energy configuration to bring them back in the high energy configuration after its breakdown so right option was beta number 10 which of the following statements best describe the sliding filament mechanism of muscle contraction its actin and myosin filament they actually slide past each other rather than contraction so alpha and motor neurons stimulate skeletal muscle cells by the release of acetylcholine beta at the neuromuscular junction and which of the following statement about muscle metabolism is false skeletal muscles at rest obtain most of their energy from muscle glycogen and blood glucose yes they do atp can be quickly obtained by combining adp with phosphate derived from creatine phosphate yes and exercise intensity is related to the maximum rate of oxygen consumption yes because oxygen is required for the breakdown of glucose but atp is required for the pumping of the calcium back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum is the wrong statement so the answer is delta over here place the following events in the correct order first of all action potential arrives at motor neuron number 3 then sarcoplasmic reticulum releases calcium ion after the stimulus of acetylcholine and after that calcium binds to the troponin which causes displacement of tropomyosin and exposes binding sites of uh, binding sites for the myosin head and myosin binds to the actin so delta seems the right sequence over here number 14 if a drug inhibits the release of acetylcholine what will happen obviously acetylcholine is required for the stimulation of sarcolemma so somatic motor neuron impulses will not lead to the muscle fiber contraction because there will be no stimulus at the sarcolemma one of the following contains all others in the list it's muscle bundle or fasciculus 
which is having muscle fiber, myofilaments, as well as myosin. So right option over here is delta. That is fascicle or muscle bundle. A layer of connective tissue surrounding the myofiber is called endomycium. It surrounds the muscle cells, while perimycium surrounds muscle bundle, and epimycium, it surrounds complete muscle. So, Charlie. Number 17, M line divides dash into two equal halves. M line actually divides H zone, A band, as well as complete sarcomere. So right option is delta. Number 18, all or none principle is applicable for, it's applied at a cell level that all myofibrils of a single muscle cell, they contract and relax at the same time. Delta. The energy required for muscle contraction is directly obtained from ATP, alpha, and 1,000 molecules of lactic acid they are being formed from glucose molecule after the conversion in the liver. How much lactic acid will form glucose? That is, 4 out of 5 lactic acid is converted to form glucose. 4 out of 5 multiplied by 1,000, you will get 800. Whatever the answer is, you will divide it by 2 because 2 lactic acid molecules are required to form single molecule of lactic uh, glucose. So right option is 400 because uh, 4 out of 5 into number of lactic acid molecules, whatever the answer is, you will divide it by 2 because 2 lactic acid molecules, they combine together to form the 1 glucose. And 1 out of 5 lactic acid is converted into energy to carry out all these conversions. So right option is alpha. Number 21, a condition mainly caused due to low blood calcium level is muscle tetany, beta. And all of the following are the effects of exercise on a muscle causing hypertrophy except increase in muscle cells are wrong. It's a wrong statement over here because muscles, they are in do not phase and they do not divide. But mitochondria, blood capillaries, myoglobin or reserves increased to cause an increase uh, in muscle size during hypertrophy. All of the following are flexor muscles except tricep because they are the extensor muscles while other bicep, brachialis and brachioradialis in the list, they are responsible for muscle contraction or uplift. One of the following set of proteins found in muscles, they're fibrous. It is the set of myosin and tropomyosin, they're fibrous, while actin and Troponin, they are globular, which the falling usually cause a drop in muscle pace, falling by inability to muscle, move the muscles. It's muscle fatigue, alpha. That was all, all about some important MCQs based on muscles and their movement. I hope so. It will be helpful for you. Thank you for listening. Allah Hafiz.